Welcome back to the Measures of Success Video Practice Buddy Series. I'm Dr. Deb. We're really glad that you're starting to get a good sound on your bassoon. We know it's a little challenging, but I know you're practicing, and with more practice, it'll get easier and easier over time. In this session, we're going to help you to learn to articulate using the tongue to get a clean sound at the beginning of each note. Let's try something before we involve the entire bassoon. Just like Matt here, I'd like you to take a deep breath, and when you exhale, I'd like you to use your tongue to pretend you're saying the word to. Now, you're not going to say the word to. You're just going to use the beginning consonant t at the beginning. Okay, watch Matt do this for you. He's going to take a good breath, and then he's going to blow using that t sound. Good. One more time. Good. Now, he's going to do that four times in a row. Okay, Matt? Here we go. Big breath. Good. He's going to do it one more time for you so you can hear him use that sound. Excellent. Now, let's do that same thing, only you're going to do it right along with Matt. So, big breath. We're going to do that four times. Here we go. Big breath. Did you do it? One more time. Ready? Go. Excellent. Let's try it again. This time let's use the reed while we do it. Watch as Matt, watch, uh, he's going to check his embouchure just like we did the last video. He's going to take a big breath and then using the t sound he's going to blow into the reed. Again, let's listen to him. Great. Now it's your turn to try it right along with Matt. Here we go. Big breath. Embouchure set. Again, two, ready, play. That's great. Now, let's try it using the entire bassoon. So go ahead and get your bassoon and have a seat. Just like Matt's doing, put your, put your reed on the vocal, okay? Let's do this using the first note in your book, okay? Don't worry about reading the music for right now. Just listen and try to do everything that Matt is doing. The first note in your book is a D. Let's review the correct fingering for D real quick. Your left thumb should depress the whisper key or the lowest of the thumb keys on the back. Just like that. Left hand fingers one and two should depress the first and second tone holes. So. Matt's fingers are in the right place, and make sure that your fingers are doing exactly what Matt's are doing. You want to make sure that the pads of your fingertips are in the center of each tone hole so that you're closing them entirely. Now, with good posture and hand position, lift the bassoon to you and create a good embouchure. When your embouchure is set, we're going to blow and make a good sound, this time without the tongue. You ready? Embouchure set. Big breath. <sighs> Great. If you're not doing it along with Matt, go ahead and do it with him this time. Big breath and play. One more time. Remember, without the tongue, ready and play. Good. If you think you need more practice with that, go ahead and pause the video right here and try doing it a few more times. Then turn the video back on and we'll be right back here waiting for you. This time, let's do the same thing, but add the tongue. Listen and watch Matt. Ready? Good. One more time, Matt. Go ahead and do that right along with Matt. Here we go. Embouchure set. Breathe in. One, two, ready, play. Let's try it four times in a row. Here we go. All together. One, two, ready, play. Remember, you're playing a D. Check your fingers. Try it again four times in a row. One, two, ready, play. Really nice sound, Matt, and great work out there. This is going to take some practice, but after a short while, we know it's going to get easier and easier for you. The next Measures of Success video practice buddy for the bassoon will focus on long tones, so be sure to check that out. And now, on behalf of everyone here at FJH Music and Matt, 
I'm Dr. Deb. Thanks for joining us.